Okay. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Linda and I really hope that you will subscribe and hit the little notification bell down there. Maybe hit the little like button, you know, if you like this video at the end. So yeah. Okay. Um, I am here today to talk about patience. One, why you need patience. We need patience because that is gonna help you and I both be less stressed out during our day. Meaning we are gonna be happier people. Meaning we are not gonna have to depend on emotionally eating, on drinking. You know, when you have a hard day and you say to yourself, hey, it's happy hour, <laughs> let's go get smashed and all of a sudden that makes your day better. Yeah, cultivating patience is going to help you not need to replace that or, or find something to lean on to make you feel better. And you will be able to breathe it out and not need to waste money. So you're welcome. <laughs> no, but for real. Let's try to be aware of our addictions, what we try to do to cope with our existence. And without pain, we would not learn that that hurts. You know, don't do that. Patience. How does patience come into this? We'll see. If I am impatient and I don't have patience, then I will get stressed out. I am in fight or flight mode and who knows how long I'm gonna be in this mode because of something so insignificant. And I have a story attached to that. So there was this one time that I was going to a wholesale supermarket and there was this a dude with his a little shopping cart and there was two men two men they were i don't i i still don't know what they were thinking what they were doing how they're alive don't know wouldn't be able to tell you how they've made it this far but they have. Oh baby, they have. No, I'm kidding. I'm I'm this is see that's that's the part of me that I want to heal because I have so much hatred towards other people sometimes. And like, you know. They're people. They're people too. You know? They have a soul, they have intricate thoughts, they have problems, you know? Anyways. So this guy is like strolling around and I'm like, okay, okay. Like he had the possibility to be like, hey, you little girl, little pretty girl. And just let me go about my day, show my little membership card to the little nice old lady at the front and I could just go about my um, mango shopping, you know? But um, no, no. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, so I, cause there was a moment in time where I could have like, just pushed my car and then like, get in front of him, you know, because I, I, I saw I saw this off from a mile away. I was like, oh my God, look at this guy, how slow he's going. And you see, this is already where I'm starting to like, my thoughts are starting to roll and they're starting to snowball and I'm gonna get upset soon, you know? And I'm ready and I'm here like, Ooh, so what is he gonna do to piss me off? That's weird. And so we go on and I'm here and I'm like, okay, let me have some patience. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just gonna wait for him to get his shit together. He's gonna get there and he's gonna go, you know? Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do all, all, all that and be a mean person. Here he goes and he's just strolling, just strolling, just strolling. What? Um, bro, he gets there. And he doesn't even have his freaking membership. It's not like that he was reaching in to get it and it was coming out and he was, no, no, no. 
it's something that like he just didn't even remember that he had to do that like if he didn't wait a whole freaking line one day and told the lady hey can i get a freaking membership here and she gave him like you took a picture you 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 took off your mask or whenever you got this membership probably prior to masks i took off my mask and <laughs> you smiled for this picture then like you they printed it you looked at it and you had thoughts about your picture either you liked the picture or you didn't and then you put it in your wallet and you were like i need to keep this safe because i'm gonna keep coming back here right and i assume that you do your shopping there often you know at least bi-weekly the least bi-weekly you know like <laughs> bro she's like <laughs> membership and like he's like oh like if the thought just fell from the sky and it's like that's never existed before that was that's never been a thing bro i'm there and i'm losing it i'm losing it over this guy not having his membership out and he took so damn long that i i got so impatient you could visibly see it the old lady at the front could see how upset i was and she was kind of like what the hell kind of issues does she have bro i'm working on them i don't freaking know and i just kind of like pushed my car like angrily like passive aggressive as hell and like shoulder the member card and I look back at the guy and I'm just like you you know and then I proceeded to be upset about it <laughs> not a proud moment but it happens it still happens to me I have a hard time shopping with others because I think that people don't have consideration for other people sharing this space with you. I'm the type of person, and you should never do things and expect things from other people because they are not me. They don't think the way I am. They have not had the experiences that I have. And I probably do a lot of things to piss other people off. So I'm not perfect. So where does my entitlement come from? Well, I'm the type of person that if I see you in an aisle, like I'm antisocial like that. Like if I see somebody in an aisle, I'll, I don't, I'll come back ma'am you you finish your shopping out that's my aisle so like when people invade my space i'm like how dare you i waited you know and i just want to give myself like a, a medal of a medal of what like you could have just gone in the aisle with that other lady when she was in the aisle what's your problem so yeah and i was just kind of like upset and I got all the way to the back of the store and then I realized, yo, let it go, dog. It's not that deep. And that's what I'm talking about. It's not that deep. So why, why, and how do I cultivate the patience for this? We'll see how you cultivate the patience because I know you don't have it either because it's not a me issue now. I am making this video for a reason because everybody needs patience. And I have some times that people don't have patience and they look at me and I just kind of like, like we're looking at the same thing. Like I see it too, babe. I, I freaking see it. I see it too. And they kind of like, they're like upset too. And they're like, Ugh. and I just kind of smile at them, you know? And at work, since I'm a waitress, I have people that don't have patience, will not have a good experience, period. I have to work so hard for you to get happy. And, or if I do notice that you don't have patience, I try to like, bro, zoom, zoom, zoom. Hi, how can I fucking help you? But there's like people that just get sit down and they're like, already calling anybody over and you know who knows maybe they have not eaten in five days i don't know what their issue is maybe they're really thirsty maybe they're i don't know like i've literally had some guy i i, I served this party of 10 people there's 10 people here 10 needs 10 drinks 10 entrees if you're annoying 10 checks 10 cards to slide 10 every like you like guys it's it's it, relax take a fucking chill pill and then on top of that i have other tables too like if you don't have patience you're gonna have a terrible time trust me you're not gonna have a good time you're not and i had this guy i was at a table he was like the first person and he ordered his drink i'm at like the eighth person taking the eighth drink and i have no filter at all when it comes to serving i know i know what to say and what not to say what i can get away with and what i cannot i'm here and i'm at the eighth person i already took his drink order i have not left the space i have not 
left and come back. I, I have not. I've been here. I've, I'm still here. This is still round. I'm, I have not left. And this guy looks at me. He's like, where's my drink? I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that I had. Do you have telepathic? Do you have a power that I don't? Because please tell me how to how, tell me. I want to know how you have that power. Like, I want to know. Because could you do it? Because I've been here this whole time, sir. And I literally looked at him and I was like, I haven't left. And everybody at the table just started laughing. And it's just like, yeah, bro, like, pff, what? Patience. And that is where patience comes in. Like, why do you need that drink so bad? Huh? Maybe you should sit on that, sir. So why should you care about having patience? You will be able to smell the flowers more. And in my opinion, you get to be happier and be okay and smell the flowers, bro. Just smell the flowers. Like, God, you don't want to smell the flowers? Flowers smell great and they look beautiful. First step in cultivating patience is awareness. Being aware and when you're in that emotional state, it's hard to be aware because you're in that emotional state and that's all you're thinking about. And when you catch yourself, catch yourself in that loop, catch yourself in that memory, catch yourself in that anger. And once you catch yourself, then you can move on to step two. Am I going to stay here or am I going to try to move past it? And if you choose to stay there and be angry and keep reliving that memory in your head and, you know, doing what you're doing in that's fine. That's okay. If you want to do that and that's what you want to do, then um, go ahead. If you would like to make a choice and you don't want to be in that space anymore, stop. Stop what you're doing. Just take a breath. Literally take a breath. Let's do it together. We're going to inhale for four seconds. One, two, three, four. All right, that is not gonna help right away. You're still gonna feel it, but it's gonna go down by 1%. And then you just keep breathing, you concentrate on that feeling, and eventually when you work through it, it gets to a point where you have to kind of talk yourself out of it. I'm going to share an experience on how I talked myself out out of walking out of my job. So we are understaffed right now. I'm not gonna say this person's name. I am not mad at this person. We are A-OK. -okay. That person is one of the only people that I like at my job. I had worked the day before from 10 a.m. till 2 a.m., got home, walked my dogs, and I personally, me, myself, and I, am set on doing my morning routine and having time for myself no matter what in the morning because I need that, Unfor not unfortunately, because it's a healthy habit and it's discipline, but I, I need that to go to serve and do a job that is not my purpose and not what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I, I need that to cope, you know, like I, I need this. I need this channel. I, I need I need something purposeful for me to do because serving is not my purpose. I have more potential than that. That being said, I had slept four hours and I went to work the next day and did it all over again. And we have this thing between a hierarchy, I guess you would say. Pretty much I am like the lead server. You have two people that check other people out to make sure that they did their stuff for the next day or that the restaurant is prepared, the restaurant is clean, the restaurant is swept, we have plates, we have this, like, we're ready to go. We're ready to go for the next day, like there's nothing that needs to be done. I did not want to be this lead person at night, again, because I have to wait for everybody to be done with their stuff. Then the management comes out and they walk through and they look at our stuff and they say, hey, you missed this, hey, you missed that, hey, do this, hey, wipe the screens. So like, I'm the last freaking server there. And like, yo, I'm on four hours of sleep. I worked all day yesterday. I worked all day today. Like, I didn't want to do that. So I went up to that person, said person, and I voiced my opinion. I'm like, hey, um, 
I don't want to do this. And that person proceeded to count. Well, we, meh, 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 you got home at this. You could have slept blah, 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 blah hours. I think that person said six hours or something like that. I was just so enraged that this person was telling me that. I was like, I'm entitled to have a life out of here and you can't take that away from me. I knew that I was not going to get anywhere with that person in this point in time. Like there's, there's nowhere to go, girl. Like the, this person's a, a, a wall right now. That person is overworked as well. We're all stressed out here. I get it. So I just walked away. I continued about my day. And I was pissed, man. I wanted to walk out. I wanted to leave. I wanted to be like, oh, beep, boop, 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 boop. Bye. I knew that that wasn't the smartest idea. A, a part of me really, really back behind the the red rage and then the black rage and then like in like the crevices of my brain is where that little voice was like, hey, you need to bring it down and go back to normal and try to bring my body back to homeostasis because girl, I was gonna walk out. So what I did in that moment, I, I, I didn't care uh, at that moment. I didn't care about tables. I didn't care about side work. I didn't care about, I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about cups. I didn't care. I did not care. So I took my little grumpy butt to the back and there's this place where like we, I guess somebody made it. I don't know who to give credit to, but they put a chair between like the air conditionings or whatever. When you sit down, like, you know, like the big, big air conditioning stuff. Like, you, you know, the fans inside that like we used to stand on, they're warm. I sat there and I disregarded any responsibilities that I had, all of them. I did not care about anything. And I was like, I need to calm down. And I was so exhausted, so exhausted and so over it. And I have a voice now, but like that day it was brunch. So like the music was loud. I was screaming all day. Like all the, I, I just had no energy, no energy for any of it. And I breathed and I took my time and I took my time. Whoever was waiting for me, whatever was happening, was going to have to wait. And I took my time and I, I, I tried my best to meditate. And eventually I was able to calm my body down and I was able to come back to reality and, and get out of that impulsiveness and that ego and that state of lower vibrations that I was in. And I was able to come out of it and I walked back in and I was like, all right, let's keep going. Me choosing to stay was on me because I know that for the bigger picture and for my goals and for what I wanted to do with my life, I needed to stay there and deal with it and swallow the hard pill of, girl, this is the way the cookie crumbles and you're just gonna have to take it. <laughs> you're just gonna have to take it, okay? And, and take it with grace and try to smell the flower while you're doing it. I want to be able to withstand whatever comes my way. I want to be like, my 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 skin is just douched and just Vaseline. And anything anybody does, says, or looks at me the wrong way, or talks about me, or, or rumors, or whatever it is, I want that to be able to not affect me. I want that to be able to just, for me to genuinely not care about anything i want to be blissed out that's what i want and i want everybody to be like that and i want everybody to be together as a community and i want us all to understand each other and even in times that we don't understand each other understand that we're not going to understand each other always and that we have to learn how to coexist and we have to be happy with one another and I think a big step in that, in what I've seen from my experience and my observations is patience and we need to cultivate it. We need to cultivate it as a society because we are going downhill. We are feeding into the anger. We are feeding into the anger. We are snowballing out of control, guys. We are snowballing out of control thing. We have lost touch of reality. We need to come back. Like we need to like, come on, let's do this. Grab your bags. 
pack your bags, let's go, follow me, click that subscribe button, follow other YouTubers, go read some books, go listen to mentors, go listen to TED Talks, go get off your phone. It's hard, I know it's hard, but like, come on, like we need to do this, guys. We need to do this. We need to get it together. We need to get it together, okay? Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you've stayed this long, I really, really appreciate you. I really hope that you will hit that like button. If you dislike this video, then that's okay. Hit the dislike button. And thank you so much for being here with me today and my little speech about... um about patience and how I managed to not walk out of my job and God, that took everything I had. But I'm here now. Thank you so much for watching. Take only what you need, never more, never less. Don't be greedy, bitch. Bye. <laughs>